So imagine you're in a car on the highway traveling to the right with a velocity of 100 meters per second and you're sitting there looking out the window and a truck passes you at a 120 meters per second. Well, from your perspective, you're stationary in the car and so the truck is actually passing you at 20 meters per second relative to you in that frame of reference. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense and it's a, it's a lot easier to uh, just visualize it first in this way. So from the car's perspective, if you're sitting in this car here and you're not moving and this biker then is approaching from the left with a, a negative 15 meters per second velocity and it's negative because we're traveling left on the x-axis well then from your perspective the biker is actually approaching you at 115 meters per second and that's going to be negative because it's going to be moving to the left and so from a, an easy one say you're by this tree here maybe you're just leaning against it watching the highway you'll notice that the car is traveling with a positive 100 meters per second velocity the truck at a positive 120 meters per second and the biker at negative 15 meters per second but let's just uh, complete it now so let's look at it from the trucker's point of view and the car is moving at negative 20 meters per second and the biker uh, if you're sitting there at rest is going at negative 135 meters per second and so this is just uh, just a really good way uh, to start visualizing it so we're, we're going to get into Galilean and Newtonian now and this is a great book by the way we'll get to this in a second so this is how you would typically see it in a textbook uh, demonstrate it and this is your transformation of position but uh, it may look confusing at first, but it's really a simple concept. So say this is some points in space and events, then you've got your two axis here, your K axis. Uh, it's usually in textbooks they use the S, but we used uh, K in this case. You'll see why in a second. And your K naught. And, you know, if you want to get the positions uh, transform between these two, find a relation. Uh, you'll notice that y naught is still y, z naught, so the z-axis, not even drawn here, but z will say is coming out like this, z naught, so z is still z, uh, t naught is still t, and the only thing that changes is your x, so x naught is now x minus v delta t. And this thing just comes from, remember, the slope of a, a position versus time graph will give you your velocity. So x minus x naught over t minus t naught gives you your velocity. And we can write t naught as just change in time or delta t. And so you bring uh, multiply both sides by delta t, subtract off uh, x, and then you're left with a, a negative x naught. So you want to flip the sign. So you uh, multiply by negative 1 on both sides and then you're left with this equation. So now for the, the Galilean transformation of velocity which is uh, it's a little more in depth but it's really not too hard once you get your head around it. And so we still got the we'll call it the k axis and we've got a velocity u of 15 meters per second then you've got the k naught axes, and that has, I've got them up here too, a velocity of 42 meters per second. And so, you know, velocity, and remember, u just represents velocity in the, the k frame of reference. So, really, it's change in x over change in time. So, change in x over change in time. And actually, to break, break this out even further, we can say it's just the derivative uh, with respect to time of vt plus x naught. And this is just, uh, well, if you rearrange this, bring uh, velocity over to the other side, then it's x naught plus v delta t. And so 
u is equal to, well, v is a constant, so we're just going to bring that out. So v times change in time over change in time, which just goes to 1, plus the derivative of x with respect to time, uh, x naught with respect to time. And so, really, that means that u is equal to just v times 1 plus uh, change in x over change in time. And this is actually the trick here, so u naught is just change in x naught over change in time. So that means that this is equal to u naught. And therefore, because u equals v plus u naught, then you can just rearrange this equation, uh, subtract v on the other side, or subtract v on both sides, and see that u naught is equal to u minus v. And so we'll do in a little example using these values here. So then u naught is u minus v. Then in u naught's frame of reference, uh, u is 15 meters per second minus v, and v is uh, 42. <laughs> I always do that when I'm talking. Okay, 42 meters per second. And this, of course, is equal to negative 27 meters per second. So that's how you'd approach uh, a problem in Newtonian relativity or Galilean relativity using the Galilean uh, transformation of velocity. And this may seem a, a little complicated. Maybe it's not at all. Maybe uh, you just intuitively understand this. But if you go through it a couple times, uh, you'll see what I did, and it, it'll make sense. So now we have special relativity. And you'll see, I recommend, if you haven't yet, that you, you look at this book. It's a great book. But so what Einstein said is, so we have our same axis here, and we've got k and k naught. And you, you'll remember this. This is just dis displayed on the other page. The axis is axis has changed a little bit. But what he said is that actually, you know, it's not x isn't just equal to uh, the derivation from the slope and y, z, and t. Well, y and z are the same, but actually t changes as well. And so x naught is actually equal to this. Y is still y naught. Z is still z naught. But time is now uh, a little more complicated to understand as well. And uh, we'll talk about that more in future videos. Okay, thank you. Have an excellent day.